Since ancient times, the Japanese have believed that a life force resides in all creations. Valuing and caring for the things we use, a zero waste life. Pointing the way to better living for a new era. Japan has a long rainy season. Nearly 120 million umbrellas are bought here every year. And 80 million of those are the cheap plastic ones. They cost only about five US dollars each. They are sold at almost every convenience store. Indeed, ease of access is why they're so common. They're often thrown away without a second thought. They're hard to break down, making them difficult to recycle, and their mass disposal is a serious social issue. But someone in Tokyo has come up with an original new use for them. Her name is Saito Aki. Today, she's visiting a school to collect discarded umbrellas. <laughs> and what will she do with them? You heard right. Making handbags from umbrellas. The first step is the breakdown. She cuts the plastic away from the metal ribs. A thorough washing removes any dirt. The next step is the most important of them all. Heat and pressure are applied to the folded plastic. Once done, the layers are fused together as one. And voila, the material for her handbags is born.
、うん、傘の、えー、形を生かしたデザインのバッグになってますビニール傘自体が平らじゃないのでそれをこう平らにプレスしようとすると自然にこういったあのまあシワが入,入るんですけどそこも含めて面白さがあるかなって思います。What would have otherwise been trash is transformed into a stylish new handbag. At 26, she decided to learn how to make bags at an accessory design school. She was inspired to enroll by a home project. The first handbag she ever made naturally recycled using material from an old skirt. But something held her back. She hated that leather was considered an essential material. Around dogs, since she was little, she's a real animal lover. She didn't like the idea of using leather for bags. 私はまあ動物が好きっていうのがあるので自分がその日,日常的に使ってる動物性のものと生きてる動物がすごく結びついただからレザーを使わないっていうのはまあ自分の中ではあの自然なことだったと思います。She was determined to make her bags animal friendly. That's when she discovered plastic umbrellas. Gomi to して他の国に送られてそこのあの埋め立て地に使われたりとかで傘って実際に生活してていろんなところで落ちてるのも見るしなんか。自分で実感する問題だった。She made up her mind to use them as material for her handbags. After countless attempts, she finally came up with the right method. She showed off her work at a school exhibition. And as a result, Made some contacts in the upcycling industry. Her little idea went big, and her stylish designs are now in large scale production. Plastic umbrellas as a revolutionary new material. For a veteran bag maker, it was a bit strange at first. Saito's idea has really caught on, turning discarded umbrellas into legitimate fashion products. After the powerful compression process, 
the material takes on a unique and surprisingly beautiful texture, resembling raindrops on glass. Naturally, its water resistance is also outstanding. The bags cost as much as $100, but they've proved so popular, especially among women, that they sell about 100 of them a month. There's one more element that adds to their unique character. It's the rust stains you see on the surface, traces of the material's former life as an umbrella. と思ってあのなるべく取り入れてます。サビはあえて取り入れる方がその傘だったことを意識できるっていうのもあるし、あと単純にプロダクトとして一点一点がこう違う表情を持ってるっていうのはリサイクルだからこそできること。In addition to loving their looks, many buyers, including Sagao Miku, became aware of the problem with discarded umbrellas through Saito's products. このバッグで言ったらここ、こういう錆があったり、余計になんか愛着が湧いてきますよね。しかもね、中に入れるものを変えるとちょっとね、可愛いんですよ、透けて。これそのビニール傘。<笑> Saito's next design is a practical backpack. So far, her products have mainly sold to women. And this is her idea for attracting a male clientele. She also wants as many people as possible to be aware of the umbrella problem. Her ideas for repurposing the umbrellas seem limitless. But her real hope is that people will stop heedlessly discarding them and the supply will run out. ブランドとしては10年後なくなるべきブランドというのがコンセプトでやってます。この状況自体が10年後には変わっていてほしいよねっていう気持ちで。まあ、